Hello everybody, it's me, the Whammeister, and there have been a lot of big game releases this year. You got the Infinity Doom, Animal Crossing, even a new Half-Life game, but today I'm here to tell you that there is a game release in 2020 that triumphs all of those, more significant, better video game than every other game in 2020. Of course, I'm talking about Golf 3D. It's basically a golf game where you go around hitting balls and stuff. Due to my massive online following, I was lucky enough to be able to play an early version of the game with the developer himself. So here is my very first time playing Golf 3D. Yeah! But wait, before you watch, the game download is in the description of this video, so if you don't want to be spoiled, make sure to download it, play it, and then watch the video, and that last step is very important. Also below is the developer's YouTube channel, where he has uploaded three lovely devlogs that you should definitely watch. But I won't make you wait any longer, let's see some exclusive gameplay footage of Golf 3D. Alright guys, welcome to my Golf 3D playthrough. Made with Unity. Now, you can actually play this game if you don't have the any button on your keyboard. Uh, so right off the bat, we have, um... So this is the first hole. I have a tooth. On my face. A nose. I know it's a nose. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> what the frick? Okay. I, what you did. I pressed like every button on my keyboard and it eventually worked. I, th I think I clicked! But that's all. Oh. <gasps> oh! Alright, it's perfectly lined up. <laughs> Alright, I'll make it eventually. <laughs> Don't. Uh, 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 it's lined up. Alright, that one, maybe a bit too much power. Could have gone wrong. Yeah, now I'm getting crazy. <laughs> I'm really good at this game. Yes! That wasn't even a tutorial. It didn't tell me what to do. Alright, you guys are about to see the most skilled shot ever. Bow! Fuck! Okay, now I'm gonna go to the... I think... I mean, I mean, this may just be because I'm a puzzle-solving wizard, but I think I need to hit it into the window and, like, kill the guy inside. I think this is, like, secretly an assassin game. Yeah, I mean, I watch, I watch Soundsmith. I'm kinda good. Oh! I hit the window! Oh! Man, I don't need this. think how do I get a golf ball up here wait oh this is there no Let me back up. <laughs> now, of course, any game still in development probably has a few bugs, and Golf 3D is no exception. Some were pretty funny. No! No, 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 no. Oh! 
Oh! Oh! What? Oh my god, I'm getting dizzy. But there was one particular one that made the game pretty unplayable. What if it- okay, cause if I- if I try to- it, it could go through here. <sighs> Dude, I was so close! I was so close! The screen kept fading to black, forcing me to reset and start from the beginning. If you want an explanation of why that was happening, check out those devlogs I mentioned earlier. But, the bugs would not haunt me for long, because after a brief break from Golf 3D, the complete version finally released. Alright, first impressions of the complete version of Golf 3D. Immediately, we have a title screen, and we have a menu screen now. We got quit, records. I'm assuming this is for the holes, options, here we are. So volume and sensitivity, quality. I don't know why you would want to decrease the quality of this game. What does that even do? <laughs> well, we're going to keep that on the max because you know I want that quality experience. going to turn that sensitivity down. Yeah, it feels about right. And so that should be on my records. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright. And there we go. I actually have gotten this hole one time before when I was playtesting on a different computer. But, uh... Ooh! It's beautiful. Another interesting thing in this complete version is actually... After you complete this hole, if you look in there, the guy is no longer in here. And so... He's not there anymore. And this is actually going to be, um... Something I talk about later, when I talk about the, uh... Psychology and deep lore behind Golf 3D. But before we get into that, it's speedrun time. Hey Shinax, wanna see me speedrun? What you just witnessed was hours upon hours of Golf 3D training. The amount of practice you need to get every single hole in the minimum number of strokes the best time consistently is more than it looks like. Except the mountain hole. That looks exactly as cool as it is. So how the hell did I do the Basically, as long as you hit the ball very, very slowly, and I'm talking lower your DPI slowly, it'll start floating. Yeah, I don't get it either. There's a very strange mechanic surrounding it, like how you can hit it at the end, 
It'll stop floating if you unclick, but start again if you re-click. It'll float mid-air if you move your mouse too forward, but it accelerates if you have it just in the right spot. Very strange indeed. Anyways, after this was discovered, I realized that technically it was possible to complete the mountain hole in just one hit. However, the amount of precision and honestly just luck required made me think that it wasn't worth the try at all. And Till I realized that if the ball passes around this spot on the cliff and you hit it when the shadow reaches the top of this ridge, you can actually get it pretty consistently. Yeah. Yeah. And as you can imagine, my reaction to hitting this shot for the first time was, well, I'll just let you see for yourself. Keep doing this over and over again. I'll get it. Now at this point, you may think that Golf 3D is just some silly game where you play golf in a comically low poly world, but if you have a keen eye for deeper meanings, you may have noticed a hidden theme that's been following us the entire time. Isolation. You walk alone on this small land mass, the only sounds accompanying you, your own footsteps, and the whack of your golf club. Even when it appears, you find a friend, someone alone, like you. They vanished without a trace, because of something you did. So, tell me, how, how extensively did you play Golf 3D? Well, uh, not, not very much. <laughs> I didn't play very much. Tell me about... Your experience when you did play the game. Why did you not play very much? I didn't play very much because it was kind of unsettling, in my opinion. It was kind of unsettling. What do you think made it unsettling? It just felt so lonely and ominous. Thank you to all my patrons for making this possible.